You may remember this. They actually look like pearls already, which is <laughs> really promising. Yeah, we made pearls. There they go. Using resin and shampoo. Pearls, done. That was then. I think this could be incredible for us resin artists. We got a new way. Right, we are back with another little experiment. So I checked out a video a, a little while ago, Shalina over at TNR got this nail product called Builder Gel and she used it to sculpt some designs onto a cup. Now I've got some, <laughs> I'm gonna have a little play. So many of you will remember quite a while back I made some pearls by colouring my UV resin and dripping it into shampoo but the only issue with that i mean we had some amazing results that video has had almost three hundred thousand views now but we can't really determine the size of it as we're dripping it into the shampoo you can to an extent but it's fairly tricky i want to see if i can make some pearls using this builder gel now this is ten dollars in the us and about 13 pounds in the UK, I think. You might think that's a lot, but this will go a long way. It's very light as well for for the amount that's in there. I think this is 50 grams. Yeah, it's 50 grams. And it is really, really thick stuff. I'd wear gloves. It does say you can use it by hand. Uh, I did a little experiment the other day and I was told off on a different platform for not wearing gloves <laughs> because some of these companies can lie. Um, I don't want to get any skin issues from it. It does say you can use it by hand, but just to be safe, I'm going to be using my gloves. It's a very, very thick, it's not sticky. It's a very, very thick, almost like a UV resin. So what I want to try and do is make so we can we can basically make hopefully pearls the size that we want for what we're making if we've got too much you can always break a little bit off and put it back in the pot now I'm hoping I have no reason to doubt that this wouldn't work but we could even batch make I mean you see how little they are I mean it's gonna go a long way for stuff like this but I think this could be incredible for us resin artists. I could unlock so many different things with this. My brain is just, <laughs> it's working overdrive. Overtime, overdrive, you know what I mean. So this is the exact powder that I use to make those pearls in shampoo with. So I'm hoping I can use this to color that or potentially dust over it afterwards. I don't know. I think I'm going to try and mix some in with the builder gel first and just see what happens and how it cures. So I'm going to just tip some of my seashell mica powder. This is from the Let's Resin 36 mica set. I'll pop the links in the description box below. You just click more under the video. So if I take, I'm going to take a bigger lump of the builder gel because I have put quite a bit of powder in there less is best remember that guys less is best always when adding things to any kind of resin or epoxy because you can't take it out once you put it in there so I'm just going to mix that up with that mica powder yeah I've got it all over my gloves but it is an experiment <laughs> I think I need a little bit more color in there, but you can see that pearlescent pearl look already. So I'm gonna pop it in there and just add some more. But I'm hoping this doesn't prevent the gel from curing. And this will be like any UV resin. Keep your lid on, don't leave it open in like any sunlight or anything because that will cure inside the pot. So treat it like any normal UV resin. But you can see there we have a rather large pearl. Now, I couldn't, I don't think I could cure that safely through the whole piece because it is so big. I don't think the light would penetrate through to the inside. 
So we do need to make it smaller. So I think what we can do on our clean silicon mat is potentially roll it out and then we can cut it and divide it into equal amounts, I suppose. Or you could just break it off and roll them into balls, however you want to do it. And this is the great thing with it. We could do so much free form. And I also want to see if I could make a mold from this stuff. I mean, if we could free form our own designs, then pour silicon over, demold it, we've got a mold. You know, these are all things that, that may have been done before. I don't know, but you know me, I'm gonna push it. So we then kind of be prepared before you do this, know what you're gonna make first. We've got these caps. So I've got the wrong ones. I don't think these will stick properly, but you can get the ones that are threaded. But we could just push in and cure it, and I think that would create a better hold. I'm not so sure about these ones, but we're gonna we're gonna try potentially. And then you've got these stud earrings. We've got like the crown on them. Different sizes, three different sizes that we could make them up and see if they fit first, and then we can cure them. So let's go for these large ones. I've just broken a piece off and we can just see. I mean, I can take it out if it's not right. It's really good, it's not sticky. So if I need to take a, a pinch off, I can. But I think that will do. I can roll that into a round ball and just set that aside and make another one the same size to make a matching pair. It's really quick. I just hope it cures. <laughs> Another good thing, you could store this if you've got leftovers, you could store it in a, a pot that's obviously it needs to be um, opaque so that the sun or any light can't cure it whilst it's in the pot. But you can always store it for another time. The same as colored UV resin. I'm actually finding it much easier to just roll it on my silicon mat. Again, just make sure it's clean. Let's try one of these caps. Just push that on and then just shape it. I mean, pearls aren't always naturally round. But I think it could work. And for this one, because I don't want to put it down <laughs> and mess it up, I'm just going to give that a part cure with my pocket UV torch just so I can put it down without worrying that I'm going to distort what I've just done. Once I'm happy, I can pop that down and give it a final cure shortly. Right, so I've made, hopefully, the right sizes. I did check, but hopefully they're going to fit afterwards. I can now cure those with my beast of a lamp. The beast is out. I'm going to set this to 36 watts. It does go up to 48 watts, but 36 will be fine. This does say to cure for two minutes, but I'm going to cure for one minute at 36 watts, then roll them over and cure for another minute on the other side. I could use my mirrored base. I'll just do it this way. So that's half cure, but you can see there's a, like a little flat where it is on my silicon mat. So just that could actually work in our favor when it comes to gluing these inside. Now you could do that with a, a small amount of um, clear UV resin I think would work if you made them the right size this I think this is slightly too big I could have pushed that down a bit more so it's flat with the inside my bad <laughs> as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks and to any new subs we have just passed 90,000 subs it's incredible thank you very much or you could use some of the homemade glue that I showed in a previous video that could work. But I'm going to just, I think just a drop of clear UV resin in there and cure it. To do that, I'm just gonna use my cocktail stick, just apply enough so that it touches both the metal base plate and the pearl and then cure it through. Because I've got that gap, I can cure through the side of these prongs and that will hold it. So this one I made a bit smaller. I didn't glue it in, but I'd glue it in anyway, but I was able to then fit it perfectly and bend, just using my jewelry pliers, just bend those prongs into place 
which will give it a really good hold. But yeah, I made these ones a little bit too large. <laughs> Let's check this one, see if it moves. It's not moving, which is good. But again, would I trust it over a long period of time without the threaded stem? Probably not. If it does move and it comes off, I could glue it back on. But it does work. This is crazy. We have almost instant pearls. You could use these in lots of different things that you make. You could stick them to birthday cards if you wanted to. I mean, use your imagination, guys. You really could make these for lots of different things, different colors. There's lots of different color pearls, pinks. Um, yeah, just have a little play around with it. And yeah, I will see you for the next one. What do you think we should try with this stuff? I mean, I think there is so much potential using it for making barriers, use it for making free form jewelry or just normal resin art in general. Let me know in the comments and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.